Doolittle was directed by Stephen Gagan and stars Robert Downey Jr. as Dr. Doolittle, a man who can talk to animals. And as an animated intro tells us, he becomes famous for doing so, using his gifts to save animals with health problems or who are dying in need of medical assistance. But when the love of his life is lost at sea, he becomes a recluse, withdrawing from society, no longer wanting to help anyone. Until two young kids show up on his doorstep needing his help. So he embarks on an adventure with a bunch of animals. Doolittle is a massively terrible movie in just about every single way. It fails as a comedy, it fails as an adventure, it fails as an action movie, the CGI is very unconvincing, and unfortunately, despite being one of the most charming and likable actors on the planet, Robert Downey Jr. is really bad in this movie. I don't know what he's doing with his accent. We have no choice but to embark on this perilous journey. I'm Dr. Doolittle and I'm going to embark on a perilous journey. I speak to bugs and tigers and giraffes and elephants and I'm sure children are going to understand everything I'm saying without the use of subtitles. And this is not an exaggeration, this is really how he talks in the movie. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what's going on here. The trailers wisely hid most of his dialogue because it's incomprehensible. But from the beginning of the movie, the director pulls a John McTiernan. He does the Hunt for Red October zoom in to Downey Jr.'s mouth as he's speaking like actual animal noises. He's making gorilla sounds. He's zooming into his mouth and then he just like starts zooming out and suddenly he's speaking English. Just like that scene in Hunt for Red October. So you get the sense that throughout the entire film, Robert Downey Jr. is actually just making animal noises in front of everyone, even though we're hearing English, which is really disconcerting when you start to actually think about that. I think if you just watch the trailer for this movie, you can tell that there's some issues behind the scenes. The film's been retitled many times. Just watching the trailer, you can't even get a semblance of what the movie's about. It's just a series of shots with really nice music and a couple lines from Downey sprinkled throughout to make you think you're going to watch this really awesome, adventurous, swashbuckling movie. But all you get is a series of very incoherent scenes that are so messy that it's, it's difficult to really follow, honestly. Characters just kind of go from here to there. It's that adventure movie where it's like, well, if we just go from one cool location to another, people will feel entertained. Along the way, maybe he'll encounter something like a tiger that needs therapy. I guess that's all we really have to do with this movie. And maybe, just maybe, he could pull a bagpipe out of a dragon's ass. That's what kids want to see. Yeah, this shot from the trailer, that's a dragon farting all over Robert Downey Jr. The comedy in this movie fails horrifically. There's a Rush Hour reference made by a duck, which I guess young children will love, since none of them saw Rush Hour. <laughs> But really the biggest issue with this movie is that the entire reason he goes on this, as he calls it, a perilous journey, is to save this queen who's ill, who we know nothing about, who's like straight up asleep in a bed, and their friendship is like, we don't fucking know, what, where's that coming from? Why should we care about this? Why is he risking his life and all the animals' lives as well as the life of a young boy who really wants to be his apprentice for this relationship we know nothing about? This is just fucking boring. The entire movie is so uninvolving. I haven't been so aggressively bored in a movie in a long time. Like even a film like The Murder of Nicole Brown Simpson, which is admittedly much worse than Doolittle, obviously. I was at least mesmerized by how awful it was. Doolittle is a movie that within 20 minutes I checked out and I just waited for the movie to end because I was so not there for it. Apparently the budget for this thing was $175 million. You could have made like 175 really awesome indie films. Instead we have Robert Downey Jr. getting farted on by a dragon. Thanks Hollywood. I'm gonna give Doolittle a D minus. Why not an F? Well, I don't know. It could have been worse. Somehow. <laughs> Young children, like five and under, will probably just be like, yay! <laughs> but you put like a bright light in front of a five-year-old and they're like, oh, bright light! Oh, now I'm bored. So maybe they'll be bored by this movie. Who fucking knows? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh. Damn, this movie was so boring. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. If you
be talking about this money, better act right. Niggas started moving left.